What's up, what's up, what's up, just TVK JP in the house. Okay, so here's another video I want to talk about unity, 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 unity. Okay, so we always saying, hey, you know, black people, we need to unite, we need to unite, we need to unite, we don't have unity, we don't have unity. And that is not true. We are united in our causes, we are united in our beliefs, we are united in our neighborhoods, we are united in a lot of things. What we are missing is just um, direction, instructions, um, delegating or delegations and things like that, responsibilities as uh, and things like that. And this is going to be really short because it really isn't too much. There really isn't too much for me to talk about. So what I mean by instructions and, and things like that, um, the unity, we're all united. Let's say you're in a house and your family, everyone's living there. That's that's a unit. But what makes that unit dysfunctional is that um, there is no instructions, no guidance, but most important, all, there is no learning. And I think um, a lot of people need to understand that your mind is simply um, made to absorb. You know, you absorb things, absorb knowledge that things that are around you and then you take that knowledge and then you create and create and you create good things you can create bad bad things or whatever but there are always um there's a reason for us being here and the number one reason is for us to learn and to understand and everything around us we do understand but as far as unity we are a unit but we don't have any directions um it's like um like I said, you're in a house and you got to come home and do your homework. And the kids, instead of wanting to do their homework, they want to play games. But instead of, but you tell those the parents, do your game. I don't want to do the homework. You know, why? You know, and so you have to really sit down and understand why they don't want to. The reason I think it, the number one reason, the number one reason is because um, the images they create in their minds that, well, they, okay, because basically this is what it is about the images, okay? Um, gosh, I wish I could write this down, but I'll, I'll try to, yeah, I could be able to do this. It's like, a, um, we call these things problems. You know, every problem has a solution, but a problem is problems don't have solutions. Um, and I know it's going to sound strange, but I think what it is is we need to start using words as what they are. A problem means that something cannot function properly to do a um, function or whatever. Now we have equations, and for some reason we call equations problems, which we shouldn't do that because it's actually an equation is a solution. It has a solution, and it's always going to have a solution, and there's nothing about an equation that no one um, can't understand. All you have to do, like, um, you have x squared plus 1. Okay, you know, once you do x squared, you always know it's, there's a curve going to be there. It's going to be a curve or whatever, some kind of curve. And um, you always, all you got to do is just, you know, put the numbers in and you'll get whatever that, um, that curve is. So you can speak about it in terms of the equation or you can write the picture. But the picture equals the equation. So basically, the solution is going to be some object, and the equation is going to be the, the ingredients or something like that, or the structure, the basic structure, and things like that. But when you have a problem, there's no solution. The problem, the only solution to the problem is that you got to fix what's broken within the problem to get to whatever the object that you want to create and that's where we are we're we, we always having these problems that we cannot solve but the reason we can't solve a lot of our problems is because we need to go in there and we need to take out the parts that do not um, work you know and then substitute them with you know change them out with the things that do work and then you'll have an equation you know that's in words that equals to some type of an object, which whether it's going to be medicine, a car, um, children, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. So 
basically that's what it is so when your children go home and they don't want to do their homework what they're doing is um, the situation that's happening is they'll go home and they say okay I gotta do my homework and then what they're trying to do is they're trying to imagine this image of whatever their homework is supposed to be or the, the object of what their homework is the result okay so like if you have um, x plus 9 you know well let's just say y equals to x okay so it, everyone knows what well, you should know it's just a dot and that's it okay so when you say um, y equals to x it's a dot so when you see that y equals to x you immediately understand that it's a dot now where the dot is going to be is determined by the um, y and the x but I mean it's determined by the um, x or the y doesn't matter since they're both the same and um, but you'll know what it is when when kids come home and they start to want to do their homework they look at their homework and they try to immediately try to get this image in their heads of the result and if they don't have any experience with it they're not going to be able to do that and because they cannot create this image then the image is going to cause confusion okay the image is going to cause confusion in them and then like well, I don't I don't understand it I don't understand it you know but the whole purpose of doing those things is not so that you can understand it as soon as you see it is there's a process that you need to go through to get to whatever the answer is and and you have to understand what those um, those components are and until you understand what those components are then you won't be able to get the picture but if you don't understand the vocabulary, if you don't take the time to do it, you know, then of course you're not going to um, understand it. And then the um, what's going to be hard about doing math or whatever is not doing the subject itself, but it's the um, <clears throat> what's difficult is basically you most people cannot uh, create that image of what that solution is the problem with the solution of an equation is and then that causes the problem but the problem is what um, their um, ability to comprehend because of s some bit of information that they don't understand or comprehend it <laughs> I've used the same word right so basically that's it and you need to and but you have your children they want to go and um, let's say play video games but the reason it's so easier for them it's easier for them to go do their video games is because they have an image of what the um, end result or the solution of playing these video games you know oh it's gonna make me feel good and I could get this Mario to do this or I can get this, you know, these whatever these games these kids are playing to to do that and to do this. So they got this image in their head, and because they have the image, then they fuel it with their um, adrenaline in and getting all excited, pumping themselves up, and then they, you know, um, you know, working their bodies up and stuff, and the endorphins flowing, and they start feeling good, and bam, they off and doing it, you know. But the whole thing is, it will work with mathematics and things like that because math science and all of those things that you understand or that we're supposed to study they are not used just to understand the information they're there so that you can create you can build things you know you can create things you can heal things you know you can travel get off the earth you know and go into the planet or go into the uh, whatever so those subjects are there not so you can just have them sitting around your house like the um, alphabet behind me just you know looking pretty no they're there so that you can use them to do better things so that's why um, when you come home or when your kids come home they rather go get their games because they got these images in their heads and basically when you're studying a lot of things that's why some people say it's, it's good to study history and to understand it but it's better to understand sciences and things like that and mathematics and stuff like that because you can um, you'll be able to see what these subjects 
can create and then you can start creating and, and doing more. So basically, um, that's what the problem is with these kids. And the same thing, you know, let's say with gangbangers, you know, they'll they'll see, um, they got this thing in their mind, they see their enemy and, and they create this image in their head of what they can do or whatever and then bam, the enemy doing the same thing. And because that image is there and they can and they have the result, they have a solution. Well, this image that they call a solution, then they fuel it with their um, adrenaline in and all of that stuff, and bam, they go at it, you know. But if you sit them sit down and say, hey, well, let's do some peace, you know, let's talk about peace, then they don't know it. A lot of people don't really know what peace is anyway. You know, a lot of people really don't know. I'm sure. A lot of you don't even know. You can probably say what peace is. Give me your whatever, unless you saw my videos. You know what I thought peace is, what I think peace is, or maybe I put it on my Facebook. But um, a lot of people really don't know what peace is anyway. And then when they do have peace, and when they really figure out what peace is, a lot of people don't really like it, you know, because there's there's really nothing there but, you know, to... There's no excitement in it as far as, you know, playing video games and stuff like that. Now, there is, but, you know, before you get to that point, there's a lot of other things that you have to do, you know. But um, but when there's peace, you know, well, you guys think about it. But basically, a lot of people can't. They don't think about it. Now, you can have some peace agreements for a little bit, but I think it's because people are so addicted to getting high on their own on their, um, because the endorphins and these other hormones that they can't keep themselves um, at, at a balance, you know, in life. So basically that's all I'm saying. Like in a lot of my videos, this is based on these images. And a lot of people say images, images, you know, I talked to this one guy, um, you know, from YouTube stuff, especially this one guy with Naitikyo Sam in Tokyo. You know, we talk a lot, and, you know, I was telling him about that, and he always said, your image is image, and I'm like, all right, well, I mean, you know, you you, you think what you want, you know, you call me, you know, I'm not calling you, and you think what you want, but, you know, once you really think about it, you one day you're going to understand it, it's just your images, and so that's what um, our unity is, is that we don't have images that we can all move towards to make things better i mean do you guys have an image of black people just you know kicking it you know having fun and you know drinking juices you know natural juices and different um natural herbs and stuff to put it together you know that'll make us you know oh, feeling sensations running through our bodies like um, like if you were to bite into a um, strawberry, you know, you bite into a uh, it gives you that tingling, you know, whatever um, feeling in your body and things like that. So those are the images that we lack. And because we lack those images and things like that, then um, there's no unity as far as trying to get those. And that's all I'm saying. So we are united but we're not united towards um, goals, you know, and we're not moving together towards the goals. We're not helping each other because there's a lot of communication going on. But, you know, if these guys like, um, uh, what's this thing called? Uh, on Facebook, um, it was a picture somebody put up of um, these three brothers, and I guess they're game bangers or whatever. And then got these... Um, these three sisters, and I guess they must have been quote unquote hood rats, I guess, or something like that. And the um, the uh, caption or whatever he said, uh, "Who would you leave your girl with?" You know, and then a lot of people would say neither, 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 and blah 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 blah. And I looked at it, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, this is the state where people are at, you know. And so I wrote something really long, and if I remember, I'll try to put it in. Um, my descriptions but basically what I said was it doesn't matter who you leave your woman with because she's gonna do what she wants to she's gonna go to whatever um, group she wants so it's not even your choice you know and plus that's not a problem why are we worrying about um, 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 a 
think something was talking about the homosexual life or something like that. And I was thinking like, you know, people are going to do what they want to do. I said, if you want to straighten all that stuff up, it's easy to fix those problems. All you have to do is just sit down and you tell these people when you're doing these things what are you thinking about what are you imagining because you got to imagine this stuff first before a lot of things before you do things and that's how we are you know we're um, most people on this earth they'll um create an image and then because they can create an image which is a solution to some type of equation or or whatever you know because all equations don't always mean that they're good but you know they got a solution so if you got a solution you got an image then on the other end, there is some type of an equation there, and then it's not a problem because you got this image. Then they're going to do it. Now, as far as um, like people, as far as um, people into um, what is that thing called? Um, physical touching and stuff like that. However, you guys want to call it, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, the whole thing is, is when your body when something touches your body if it applies a certain pressure it's going to it can make your body it can it can hurt you it can send um cause your um glands to secrete hormones sometimes it's according to if it touches you if it's light you won't even feel it like when a bug's you know a bug can be on your um, part of your body, whatever, you know, if, um, it's like mosquitoes, you're getting bit all day and you don't feel them and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter. So when like, um, I was saying like when people, um, are in a relationship with somebody, whether it's the uh, opposite sex or the same sex, it doesn't really, I mean, it does matter what I said. The problem is it's just not natural because, um, two guys in, uh, cannot produce a child and two women cannot produce a child and a woman and a man can produce a child so when two things get together there must be some kind of a um a natural quote unquote natural um uh solution or natural uh what is it called something that can produce naturally and in those same gender type relationships there really isn't anything physically that they can produce um or they can't produce an um, entity okay a, um entity is what i want to say and but i said the reason that a lot of people are together is because men are looking for love women are looking for love and they don't know what it is and once they get into it then they get the understanding that um first is this understanding that's there and then as time goes on and on and on, there are images that they have of that relationship or that person start to fade. And when it fades, that's it, you know, because there's no, no motivation. And the motivation that we're always looking for is, is just um, just in the drilling it because the drilling it is a motive. It's not only not only is it a motivator, but it oh, I guess it is a motivator. But what I mean by motivation, I think we maybe we take it. We don't really understand it. But it's, it's a force. Once it's released, your body is going to move. Your muscles are going to move. Your heartbeat's going to boo. boo, boo so it's going to do that. So people, when they're in relationships, they, they need that excitement from the adrenaline in and, and the feelings from the endorphins, whatever other hormones that's there. you know. But once it wears out and they're looking for it, then they'll stop and they'll look at their partner and they're like, okay, well, what what's my interest in it? Because if there's no excitement, then there's no interest. You know, and then they're fighting and fighting and breaking up and stuff like that. So, um, and on the post, I say, you know, basically, or I was talking to somebody, I forgot exactly what I said, but um, basically, what it is, it's just that people are going to get involved in something on a superficial level as long as they have an image. But once that image is gone, then all that other stuff is going to all that other stuff is going to disappear too. So what makes things um, last? You know, what really makes a relationship last? What really makes unity last? And what makes unity last, last is you have to have functional equations. And you don't have to have anything like, um, like uh, what's the thing called? Um, 
these emotional uh, triggers and stuff like that. You really don't need them. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I want to um, have make love to my girl. You know, and why? Oh, because it feels good. Well, why does it feel good? Well, uh, but when you really talk about them, all they're doing is they're, in, they're, they're, they're cheating themselves, basically, by creating some image in their head of them with their girl or the guy, I mean, the woman with her man or whatever. And they're in their heads, they're, they're um, making these, um, what are they called? They're making these um, uh, images, but these images are creating these flow of hormones and drilling and stuff in their body. So they're like, yeah, you know, my girl, oh my God, you know, my girl, my girl, my man, my man, blah, 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 blah. You know, and then when you finish, you're like, dang, you okay? You know, because some people really get excited, excited, you know, especially when they're talking about things. But right there, that's the result of the flowing, you know. And so basically, that's that's what's going on is these images. So the unity that we, we lack is we don't have a... Um, we don't have um, these the same images basically, and that's it. And they, you say, well, two people never had the same image, but you can have the same image if you have if you have the if you're able to have the correct equation, because it doesn't matter what you think about y equals to x, it's always going to be a dot. <laughs> You know, but where the dot is is depending on what number you use, and if you know numbers and you know, uh, then you know exactly where the dot is going to be. So that's the image, and there's nothing, and there's excitement in it. You know, because nature, you're looking at nature and everything. There's excitement because everything vibrates. I guess, well, I don't guess, but everything vibrates when you see color, it hits you. You know, and, and the rays and things like that. So that's where the unity is is in the equation. So what are our equations? We lack equations. We always say, I got a problem, I got a problem, I got a problem. Well, okay, fine. You know, what's the solution? Well, the solution is I want to be happy with my, um, I want my kids to study. Okay, so that's the solution. So what's the equation? Because there is an equation for that solution. There is this for that, there is this for that, you know, you get the problem, you have a problem, then there's this, there's this, this, this equation, but this equation creates this problem, or this solution, or the problem creates a solution, whatever, because I, like I said, to me, a problem is just an equation that has parts that's not working properly, you know, our variables where that's not working properly, so you have to figure out, well, how can I get my kids to study? Well, I think is you ask them when you have to do your studying, what image do you create? And they say, well, I don't know. And I say, okay, well then, if you take the time to do this um, equation, then you're going to have an image because mathematics and things like that, they, there's an image, you know. And I've done, like I said, I've done that with my kids and stuff, my son and with um, English and he didn't want to listen and blah 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 and I think I told the story before and I said just listen and so I just took my hand and slammed it down on the table you know so it could create you know this vibration you know and boom you know and he kind of woke up because basically what he was doing was he was crying well he wasn't he started crying a little bit you know he's 11 years old crying still so like you crying you're 11 years old you know, he, oh, I don't want to do it, blah, blah. but what it was, was he was creating this, this um, image in his head of him not wanting to do it, and the flow of uh, adrenaline and the hormones was like really strong, and the only way to break it was to make some noise, so it'll snap him out of um, feeling whatever that image was, and then when he broke it, I had just like a few seconds to get a couple of words in there. So that he can um, understand what I wanted, to, what I want to say. So then I say, "Hey, listen. Just all you have to do is look and listen. You don't have to talk. You don't have to write. You don't have to do anything. Just give me five minutes, and I'm gonna show you 
how to comprehend English because he speaks only Japanese. He understands English, but when he hears it, but he doesn't really speak it. So he was like, okay. So I had like a few seconds, you know, maybe a couple of minutes or so, a few seconds to a couple of minutes. And well, it's a couple of minutes, a few seconds anyway, right? So I wrote it down. I said, this, 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 this. And that's it. I told him three things. I said, this is all you got to do. Bam, bam, bam. And that's it. That's all English is. Huh? Really? And I showed him. He said, yeah. I'm like, is that difficult? He said, no. I said, okay, we'll try this. Well, it looks difficult. I said, listen, I told you what the three things are. Okay. That's all you have to do. Okay. He said, okay. So I said, what's number one? He told me. What's number two? He told me. What's number three? He told me. I said, okay, do it. So we did it together. He got the answer. Did it together. He got the answer. He did it again. Answer, 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 answer. And I said, okay, now how was the video? He was like, oh, you know, at first I thought it was very difficult, but since you explained it to me, you know, it's easy. I was like, yeah, you know. So, um, so, simply put, the problems we have in our neighborhood is not unity. We are all united. The problems that we have is we are not we don't we don't create an image that we can um that has a simple solution i mean simple equation that we can grow through to do this I, I, what i'm saying is really okay basically as an adult if you're adults watching this what you have to do is you have to check yourself first you have images that you're thinking about these images and if these images are provoking a lot of emotional um, flow through your body you have to stop and I know it's hard to stop because when I think about things you know and my emotions flow like they're flowing now and it just feels so good oh my god it's this image but what it is is when these emotions are flowing and if they're not if you're not keeping it on an intellectual level and not checking your flow because you're releasing it, you're releasing it yourself, the drugs that comes in like endorphins, it stops the pain from what I think that adrenaline causes, you know, and it has to be that, you know, I'm sure um, you look it up, it's there. Um, then that drug numbs your body. And when your body is numb, it feels good. But what can you do? You can't do anything. You have to wait. It numbs your body. It's like, like you drugged. Okay, I'm drugged. I'm going to go driving. You can't drive when you drug. That's why they say don't um, drink and drive and just because it impairs you. you know. But if you don't understand what the impairs me, it just means that it makes your body uh, not dysfunctional, but incapable of moving in a way. It immobilizes you pretty much, not to a full extent of immobilization. But you can't do anything. You have to wait. And then when you finish getting all excited, you still have to wait until everything starts kicking up and moving again and moving again and moving again. So it's like when you're going to work, you guys are like, oh, my work is boring. My work is boring. There's no excitement. You know, there's a difference between... Your, your mind and your body. Your mind absorbs all this information so that you can create things. So when you're creating something, you know, and people make mistakes, and you have injuries and mistakes on the job, they said it's man-made. Yes, it's man-made because you're creating, you're, you're, you're creating these other images that's taking you from what you're supposed to do, okay? And that you need to stop. So as an adult, you go home and you say, oh, I'm going to get home and my wife is going to be like this or my husband is going to be like this and this and that and this and that and that. And you're creating these images that don't have any equations to them. And you're creating that stuff. And um, then when you and that's what you expect. So you get all excited and excited. And then when you go home, you expect to see that same image and have that same excitement, but you're not going to have the same image, or even if it is, you're not going to have the same excitement because you already wore yourself out. 
you already um, played out the act in your mind. So it's not a good thing to do that, you know, in the first place. Then, well, what about expectations? Well, you can, what I'm saying is you can expect what you want. It doesn't matter. Okay, that's up to you. But what I'm saying is, is you're not going to be able to have the same intensity of a real life um, exciting time that you will I mean that you did when you created in your mind because in your mind you're going to create a perfect um, situation that is not flawed your 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 partner is going to be in line you know like that alpha male BS and stuff like that you know where your woman's going to be there and she's going to have this dinner it's going to taste like this and it's she's going to be dressed like that and I'm going to walk home and she's going to I'm going to walk in the house and she's going to give me this big kiss and this and that. My kids are going to come and hug me and blah, blah, blah. And you get home and no one's home because somebody got sick somewhere and they had to go to the hospital. You're not there. Where's my football? And you call the phone. Where you at? La, 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 la. And even giving people a chance to talk anything. And then after they finish, they're like, well, you know, baby, um, you know, baby, um, was this um, our son fell down and cut his arm open so we brought him to the store sorry i mean to the hospital so sorry we couldn't make it breakfast and you know oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so bad you know and so and but all of this stuff is created because of these images that you create you don't have to create any images you know there's there's a thing that's called communication so if it does happen and she goes to the hospital Maybe she'll have time to email you or call you. Maybe they don't because they're distressed. But those things you have to understand, you know, that um, your spouse or partner, whatever, might go through these things. So there's always an ex explanation. But the explanation you might not like, and it might not be what you want, but people have their own individual needs. So you, that's why I say in my videos before you, when you walk over to a girl especially you guys because actually the guys you guys are really mental mentally crazy out there um when you walk over to a woman that you like put your agenda right out in the face you don't have to do all of this like these pickup guys do talk to these girls and blah 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 and these guys end up getting married and getting divorced like oh my god i can't believe it well you know you put it hey i make this much money this is what i do these are my degrees this is what I want. I see you. You know, you have a nice smile. You have a nice body. You know, your outward appearance. I like it. But tell me, what? who are you made of? What are, what are your goals? And if you meet a girl, she's like, well, you know, I just want to hang out with my friends. You know, go get my hair done and my nail done. Then you already know that you two getting together is going to cause a problem. Okay. And it's not, there's no equation there, you know, where everything just moves together, you know. And if you're looking for love, then you need to get that out because love is not going to be, um, that's not how love is. Love, what love is, is a comprehension, you know, basically that's all it is. It's just a comprehension. And if you don't have, if you don't comprehend, then you're not going to be able to love unless you fake it. But even though you're saying you love, like we like, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Cause I love this person. I love that person. But if that person leaves you or mess around on you, which is not messing around, cause this person wants to enjoy themselves with someone else. Oh, I thought you loved me. I do love you. You don't love me. You don't love me the way I think you should love me. You know, with this image. You know, blah 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 blah. And it's then you break up. Then you cry, oh, I can't find love, no one loves me, you know, and you, and all it is is why you're doing it. You got this image of you sitting in some pathetic place by yourself and everybody's just ignoring you and they having fun and, and you're not having fun. And, and, and basically it's just schiz schizophrenia and stuff like that. So basically what I'm saying is our main problem is that we have two different, um, there's there's a right way and there's a wrong way and we're doing it the wrong way and the right way we don't do we don't really like it because it doesn't create any immediate emotional 
satisfaction, but um, emotions are done to help the body function, move, protects the body, and things like that, you know. And we can say as for our, our pleasure and stuff like that, that's fine, but our intellect is for us to build things so that we can create a situation so that we can get high off our own emotions and just sit in a park all drugged out and don't have to worry about the police coming over and bothering us because they'll under because you probably won't even need police you know and people understand how this is and it's just this this utopia whatever it is is going to um happen so the unity i'm talking too much guys I'm, i really want to make these these videos like one minute long and stuff but um the unity is there what we don't have um the unity at is our ability to um, understand that the difference between an equation and the problem the problem is just um, an equation that has parts in it that doesn't make that problem work in a positive way but then most of the time it's more or less to me, I think it's the images that we create first. Equations, all you got to do is just plug things in in the work. A lot of people say um, education is not fun and things like that. But um, I guess, um, and, oh, I don't know, I'm, my mind keeps telling me to say what well, the problem is, the problem is an image that has no equation. And a um, a solution is a problem. A solution has an equation. Okay. And an equation is, I guess, is supposed to be um, a, um, the, um, the combinations of um, different things, pluses and minuses, to create an, a, 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 I guess, an object. You know, I guess it would be an object, something that moves, you know, um, and things like that. But um, a problem is, I guess it would be an image and there is no equation for it. But I guess you can call it an equation to people fighting is an equation, I guess. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to. My mind's telling me to say something like trying to get it right but it's the problem our what's causing most of our problems is our images our images are images because we create an image without an equation and i'm thinking that's what my mind is trying to tell me to say and the solutions always have an equation first and then you have the solution so then if you have an image now what it's the equation for that image. So if you go home and you expect your wife to have your dinner there, then the equation is that your wife knows exactly what you want to eat, knows exactly your taste, know this, know that, know that, know that. And she's not going to do that unless you tell her. But it's not going to always be the same because as you get older or things happen, then um, to taste buds and your feelings and things like that changes. So you're creating this, you're trying to force some kind of equation that is not always going to be the same. And so therefore it's only a temporary something, which is really nothing. And so you have this image and that's what I think it is. Okay, so I think that's what my mind is saying. And so basically, a, an image that is provoked by your emotions, you just have an image only and there is no equation that is true. And it'll always be true and you can use it in every situation. And that's where our problem is. An equation like x plus, I mean, x equals to y, y equals to x. It's always going to be true. It's always going to be there. It'll never change this. And it's always going to have the same answers based on whatever you put in. So that's what it is. Okay, so a problem to me is an image that doesn't have an equation. And the solution is a, is a, um, 
is an um, a solution always has an equation. So that's what it is. Okay, it took me 40 minutes to think about that. So our problem is it has nothing to do with unity. We are united. The problem is is we create these images that don't have an equation. Okay, and then we try to. Um, but what we need to do is we need to um, get these solutions that have a um, equation. So. Now I'm, now I'm trying to guess. But basically, that's it. Okay. If I can, uh, it's something else I want to say. Okay, I'll try to say it, but I'm talking too long. Um, so let's say, like, you want to stop um, gang violence. Okay, now let's say domestic violence. So what's the solution to stopping um, domestic violence in the house? So basically, you want to get a zero. So you have this, 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 and you want to get a zero. So to get it is simple. The man needs to stop creating these images in his head of what he wants his woman to do. You know, and the woman needs to do the same thing. You know, because there are some women who are um, like that too in the homes, and they need to stop creating these images. Then when you stop creating these images, then you're gonna say like, well, there's nothing there. But yes, there is something there. And what is there is is called growth. It's called learning. It's called understanding. Your mind is going to start taking over because your mind is constantly looking at things, constantly making things. And people make these discoveries and things like that and whatever, you know. And as time goes on, things develop. But you, you look at the pattern, you know. It's a, like a simple, simple thing. Uh, let me see. You see this homework? That's one of my second groups did that. Okay, so it's like this. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so you think about mathematics. Everybody go three times three equals to nine. Some kids are, oh, this is very difficult to do. And I said, okay, and then one day I was thinking about it. Like, well, how would they get that? You know, so like when I teach my students, sometimes I'll um, teach my uh, three-year-old students when we have a little time. Three times two, what is it? And I just tell them, just draw two lines. Three, just add them together. We have another box. Three plus three is what? Three plus three is what? Okay, and then they um they don't know. I say, okay, well, underneath, just draw three circles, three circles. And when they see these three circles, when you see these three circles, what are you doing? Your mind is going to add them up count them exactly it's going to automatically do that so it's going to be six 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 oh man that's <laughs> anyway um so basically that's what it's going to do it's going to um it's going to um they're going to automatically do this this is simple this is not simple this is not simple but as time goes on then i put a three there then you add another three then you add three more and I'm telling you I have because these kids can count so I did this with some fourth grader not fourth graders four-year-olds some three-year-olds the ones who can count and they did blah, 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 blah. okay bam 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 and um and it was four-year-old and um she just started doing it and she was like bam, bam, bam. and I told the mother and the mother was like really surprised wow I can't believe it and so kids can count. So this here, once you teach a kid to count, then this this here is going to produce this. Okay? So you're going to have this, this, oh, no, it won't be that. It'll be nine. Okay, so here to change to nine. And these kids see this image, and they know what a nine is. Okay? So this here is an equation that has a solution. Okay? But... When you when you want to cook a, um, a, a it doesn't even matter to say whatever you want to eat whatever you know and then this equals to the y for the husband cooking and the sauce and blah 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 and this is your image well this here never changes never changes is when you have this it's always going to be that. Okay, always, it'll never change. But here, this here, 
this here will change. It's not ever going to be the same. So one day your wife can cook the same food and or your husband, whoever, put a man up there too, you know, curly hair. Now women, they don't wear curly hair anymore. So a lot of them don't. But the ones in Japan, they do. They look really cute with curly hair. Okay, so the guy do this, whatever. But this here can change. And because this here can change, this is not an equation. This is not an equation. This will be a problem. Okay? This would be a problem or an equation that has parts that that's not always true. And so, because this is not always going to be true, this is not going to always be true. But we create this image of this food, but this here is nothing and so that's what this is what we're doing this is the life black people are living or not even black people a lot of people but i'm just talking about people i'm not talking to black people i'm just right now i'm just addressing black people but it applies to everyone else but this is what our problem is okay this is what it is we have this and it equals to what is the permanent equation this is a problem this is a problem, okay? This here is an equation. This is an equation. Da -da, da -da. It's just this, okay? But they create the numbers so they can do less space. When you start adding up the same numbers, what do you see here? What do you, uh, what do you see? I see three written three times I see two times three times three what do you see here I see three um, I see two th um, two threes I see two threes multiply so it's this and it's just make reduction 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 then it gets down to a car what is a car? This is a car. No, this is not a car. This is a picture. What is a car? Car is made of this and that. Blah, 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 blah. And when you really write out what a car is, it'll take you so long, so long. So you're like, oh my God, that's too long. Just make it a car, automobile, whatever. So that's what it is. So this is what our problem is. Our unity is, the reason we can't unite is because we have these images that we create in our heads that has absolutely no equation. And this, we can stop. This we can stop because this is all based on emotions. And emotions are manually triggered. Hopefully you can see that. So here, this here is our emotions. Emotions are manually triggered. Okay, sorry. I didn't do a good job. I really need to make all my videos over again properly, but the stuff pops in my head. When it pops in my head, when it pops in my head, I have to do it like right then and right now. Otherwise, I'm going to forget, you know. So because I understand, and and um, my life has always been good because I've always did this. I understood when I was young, this is not going to work. So I do this. But for me, I can marry any woman. It doesn't matter because I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of doing. But what it is, guys, what it is for women, you should not ever, 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 ever marry someone who's not on the same level of thinking that you are. And I'm saying money, but I'm saying thinking. If they're thinking this and they're not thinking this, if they're thinking this, you can get together because you can work out things. If they're thinking this, it's, never, it's not going to happen. Okay, it's not going to happen. Okay, because what it is, is you're going to have to teach your partner this. From here, you don't see. We don't. We don't want this. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. This no. This creates. This what we don't need. Cause this is nothing. Okay, absolutely nothing. It's just in your head. You know. This is what we need. So when you teach, when you teach someone to go from here to here, then what's going to happen is. They're going to appreciate you. They're going to appreciate you. 
and that appreciation is going to be it's going to it's going, we can call it love but love is an emotion but they're going to appreciate you and they're going to respect you for the rest of your, their life but when you wake someone up and you 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 show them outside when you show someone outside and you say hey your mind can comprehend all this stuff you know your mind can comprehend all of this stuff and you show them how you go read you show them how what's going to happen is they're going to say oh my god and they're going to wake up and they're going to go out in the world and they're going to create things and they're going to have to leave you they're going to have to leave you because in their minds they were sick they were sick when they were doing this. But you said, no, don't do that. Do this. This is real. This never changes. You will not ever make a mistake in your life. This you will never make a mistake. But this you can make mistakes. And then when you wake someone up from here and you bring them to here. And if they can control this, they're going to, they're going to excel so far ahead of you. And, they, and they're going to have to leave. And they're going to like, you know, I am so sorry. You know, and they understand. And they say, and, and, and if you are, because some people, they're like this and they flip back and forth. So if you want these person that flip back and forth, then you're going to like, oh my God, oh, please stay, please stay. But something saying, hey, this is an equation. This person is this. And they got to do this. Or you put whatever, some other thing in there, you know. But if you're like this, and they're like this, then you can get together, and then you can talk. Okay, well, I want to be with you. I want let's have some children together, you know. And then you say, okay, well, this is this is what I want to do. This is my um, objective. This is my objective. Then, how what we're we gonna do with the kids? You know how they're gonna be raised. You know. But there are other people in the world or in the neighborhoods that can help the older people. You know, you got to educate the older people. They can do this. You know, the, you know oh, I'm talking too long. Eight minutes and I'm finished. The reason I say educate older people, like my mother's age in the 90s, because a lot of people in the 90s, you have to make a move. When they start moving, their body start re-energizing itself. The mind starts to re-energizing itself. You feed them vegetables and stuff and they'll they'll come back around okay because there are a lot of people who are in their 90s and still blah, 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 and they can do that okay you keep the body the body you there's no reason why you should you should lose all your functions and stuff the reason you need the older people is because these like uh, these politicians are going after the younger kids the younger kids don't understand how these older kids are thinking but if you get someone that's in politics and he's 70 years old and then you get someone else that his age another black man his age you know then that he's not going to do that to that black person you know what i'm saying unless he got a cops unless he got an army with him but one-on-one -on -one, no and if there's no weapons no if it's just one-on-one -on -one talking no nothing there just body to body it's not going to happen you know but a lot of people this is where our country is. This is where the world is. But and our kids are in this mess too. But you got to get them over here. But once you get them over to here, you know, and you under teach them, then when you see an older person, these older people, which is a whole different story, which I, I should talk about that later. But I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more. These older people, a lot of them are miserable because they live all their lives and they finally came out. Hey, there's no this. This, there's nothing here. I just got this. There's nothing there. So every day, they got to live their life here, knowing that it's wrong. But they don't understand this here. Okay? This here gives you power. This is knowledge. It gives you power to manipulate that in any way that you feel. Okay? That you want. It gives you that. Okay, and once you're able to go to those mountains, dig in there and understand this and understand that, then you'll rise above all of this stuff and you can create things. Okay, 
to help people change, to help people understand things, you have to say, hey, this here never changes. Okay? You have something like y equals to the limit of blah, 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 x to the cube, blah, 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 equals, you know, plus three, whatever. This here, this equation, it never changes. Now, people might not understand what this means, but you explain it to them. All it means is this, 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 that's it. And they're like, oh my God, oh my God, that's it? Yes, because this is just going to be, I think, I forgot what limit is, but let's say if you use calculus, this calculus, whatever. But anyway, let's say, just what's the length of this line? <laughs> and I think that's what this is, I forget. But calculus, yeah, think limits. What's the length of this line from here to here? What is the length? You know? And, and that's it. You know, you're like, oh, my God, I thought it was difficult. No. Yeah, well, there you go. You thought. You thought. You don't think. Get the equation. Get the equation. It's always going to have a solution. You know? But our problem is, is vocabulary, basically. So, anyway, I got three more minutes to talk. Uh in a few seconds but that's our problem we are united that's not our problem we were united it's just that we we have these images that don't have an equation and that's a problem we need to get equations that have a solution and there are always these solutions you can combine them you can do different things you guys have to go on the net and it's there you have to talk if you guys are in school, and I mean guys and girls, anyone, when you're in school, if you got a books that you have to read, the first thing you do is you have to drink some water, get some sleep, you go someplace where you're, um, where you, where you cool. If you got some um, people in the same class and you all got to read the same thing, then you guys get together, you all put your iPhones, whatever recording devices you have, and each of you take turns reading a paragraph. Each of you take turns reading a paragraph. If you got the whole book, you have to do whatever. Or you know, like you got um, one week to read this book and get this information down. Then all of you guys just get together, and and um, you take about an hour or so, and you read whatever those chapters are. You read it out loud, read it clear, and then when you drive in your car, you instead of listening to music and stuff. You listen to that over and over. Man, my face. It'd be nice if everything would turn one solid color. Ever since I've been in Japan, I've been fading. Gosh. So now I just stop using a lot of these creams and stuff. But anyway, um, uh, you guys get together and you read. Okay. And you, if it's a chapter and it's 30 pages, then you guys take the time read a couple of paragraphs then you get tired you know just read one paragraph the next person read the next one 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 and you guys should be able to finish pretty quick you know you got some people who can read very well and then and then and you and you guys um pay each other you know to study together or if you don't want to use money because you know government ah you can't use money because we want a part of the money whatever you know, then you guys treat each other to um, food or, you know, you buy gifts for each other and stuff like that. You can, can encourage each other to do things like that because um, that's the only way you, um, that's the only way you're going to create a unison. And I think that's the word of understanding this. And then you, you'll all be able to work together because you understand this and you won't do this. You can do this. It's fine. But you have to do this within this and this is going to call create this for you so you'll always have this balance there you'll always have something there the balance this this is a foundation this has no foundation okay so i got a few minutes so that's how you guys study you do that with every um with a lot of things but i'm all i'm tired i get, i'm not tired i'm busy bye